the abuse of trust, the destruction of faith, the theft of innocence. In 1979, I was invited to his house. He locked the doors and forced me to drink what I now know was alcohol. He asked me what I thought of his penis, which was erect. Then, the priest made me perform oral sex on him. The Catholic Church in Germany is facing a crisis. Attendance has dropped significantly over the past few years. According to the Central Committee of German Catholics, 180,000 parishioners stopped going to Mass in 2010 alone. Many citing church hierarchies' unwillingness to do enough about claims of abuse, like the ones made by Wilfred. The priest at the centre of this particular scandal has now been moved to a different parish, while this church, where it's alleged that abuses took place, remains closed to worshippers. But just how difficult is it to bring a criminal prosecution in cases like this? If those people go to court now, it's very difficult to get to a sentence because the witnesses sometimes died in between, uh, memory has got lost, and so those attempts to get to have a trial usually fail. Christian Pfeiffer had been in charge of an extensive study into abuse in the German Catholic Church dating back as far as 1945. His research claims that the church destroyed files on priests involved in abuse after 10 years, also that 1,200 victims were paid hush money not to reveal what happened to them. He was dismissed after a dispute with senior clergy over what information would be made public. The scandal that this research is now not going to be finished uh, is causing problems to them as well. Now they are losing members because of the new headlines of the last few weeks. There are those within the church that recognize the importance of transparency if lapsed Catholics are to be brought back into the flock. When we do not make things clear, there will always be an aftertaste that something is being covered up. This will harm attempts to get people into church because it is a bad foundation for trust and all belief is based on trust. For Wilfred, that trust has been lost. He says he will never set foot in a church again. He's committed to getting compensation for himself and those others who claim they were abused by people who are supposed to be in a position of responsibility. Peter Oliver, RT, Germany.